Yes, we're finally going to be talking about OTS 22 here. I, yeah, let's dig onto this. I'll make 30% of you that have not smashed the ever living crap out of that subscribe button. Smash it so you guys don't miss out more awesome content. Robbie, why'd you take so long to talk about this? Well, Konami policy and things, and you know, I've seen everybody else talking about it at this point. I, 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 I don't care. The release is literally tomorrow. So, our three ultimate rares we know are purely branded fusion and thrust. And to be completely honest with you, I understand a lot of the frustration that the community feels with this. Um, a lot of people are upset that Purely did get an ulti, but to the Purely players, I think that's fine that they got it. If you did not expect Thrust to get an ulti, Invocation, Forbidden Droplet, if cards like the Power Cards, Dodge, you know, Starlights, and other forms of upgrades, guess where they're going to put them? Probably in an OTS tournament slot. Now, to answer the question of, you know, OTS 23 ultis, I don't know. I'm very curious what they're going to do, but these packs seem like they're done six months in advance, so there's that. Now, super rares. We got Angler. That's good until Sprite gets cratered off the face of the planet. Baby Raccoon Tanuki, Abomination, which makes sense with the current uh, stuff that we have with the set. Evil Diversity, I mean, we'll call it what it is. Clear New World, yeah, we need that for Age of Overlord. It's going to look very nice. Branded Lost, Runic Dispelling, which, I mean, it did need an upgrade. Purely Happy Memory, sure. And then Galaxy 100, and then Horn of Orophant. Which, I, I guess. Now, the commons, Morphtronic, Natasha, um, Bad Noble Knight, um, Archfiend Decentric, the Power Tool, Charles, the Rank 7 till you crater, you know, dear old Papa, cool deck, cash tier off the face of the planet. And then you got Synchro Wave, Synchronized Roam, by the way. Uh, synchronized Roam, and now getting a name change, by the way. Uh, so it's, I believe, no longer a Synchro card. And we got Evil Force, Herald of the Abyss, Branded in Red, and Summon Limit all getting reprints. Um, you can definitely tell that this was designed in the past. So what are my thoughts on this? Um, I think Bra Thrust is good. Brand Infusion's whatever. I mean, they're really catering to the players who really want the high rarity stuff. Um, I do think, overall, that this is a cool pack. It's got nothing brimming with excitement, you know, joy, gleam. It is a very suboptimal pack minus thrust. But not every one of these can be a banger. We know this. It's been the same pattern over and over again. But I get the frustration in things that people are having for this. So that's my opinion on this. Woohoo! Yay! Thrust did go down a little bit, but I mean, what more do you expect? So please, leave a comment down below to what you guys think. I'll see your beautiful faces back here later in the day with some more cool ass content. Peace out, guys. Patrons! Thank you! Uh. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Check out these other videos.